Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be unlocking the newest card that just came out inside of Clash Royale, which is the Goblin Gang. And honestly, it seems like a really fun card. First of all, the concept is pretty cool. You got a squad of goblins, three regular goblins, and then three spear goblins. And not only that, but it's only three elixirs, so it serves as a pretty nice replacement for the skeleton army. You can sort of interchange them depending on what you want to do with your deck. So let's go and buy it today, try it out inside a couple of battles, and I'm going to start off by buying 400 of them uh, from the release offer. Now we still have a bunch of gems, so I'm gonna go ahead and spend those on some super magical chests, just so we can hopefully get it up to the next level. We got 121 inside of this chest. We're gonna get a lumberjack. I actually only have two more legendary cards to max out, I think, or maybe three. I'm not exactly sure, but let's see how many more we're gonna get inside of this chest. 523. We are getting so many out of these super magical chests. Another princess, which we can't really use. And I'll go ahead and pop open one more and see if we can just keep... 524. It is so easy to get these. Plus, we're going to get an Electro Wizard for our trouble. So not too bad. You can see the deck I have constructed right here is pretty solid. But instead of using the Skeleton Army, I'm going to go ahead and throw the Goblin Gang in there. And uh, let's go ahead and start upgrading this as soon as possible. So again, this is a nice little uh, replacement for the Skeleton Army. I'm not sure exactly in which role um, the Goblin Gang's better than the Skeleton Army and vice versa. I think the Skeleton Army's better for killing things like the P.E.K.K.A., for killing the Hog Rider, but obviously the Goblin Big Gang being so quick, it's probably better for doing quick damage against towers. And we're gonna get it up to level nine, which is the tournament standard, and we can go ahead and play it inside a couple of battles and hopefully pick up some wins. So let's try the Goblin Gang for the very first time. Hopefully I don't call it the Goblin Barrel too many times. I feel like that's gonna be an issue, but let's try it out right now and to see how we can do it. Now, if I had it in the very beginning, I would just drop it immediately against this guy, but unfortunately we don't have it. So Let's start out with our Musketeer. I actually don't have any defenses inside of this deck, which is sort of interesting. Almost always I have one. He's got his minions, so I'm going to go ahead and use my arrows to take those out. That's a nice little counter right there. Ended up making two Elixir off of that trade. He's going to have to respond to both, thing, both things in the right and the left-hand lane, and I'm going to just chill out for right now and to see what he decides to do. All right, so Barbarians are here. Let's use our Goblin Gang to end up killing these. Oh, my Mega Minion's going to kill his Princess. That's actually super good for us. And uh, meanwhile, Goblin Gang's going to take care of those Barbarians, and as they run down the lane, eventually he'll drop his Log, and that's going to go ahead and reset the battle. Now, we're still in a really good spot. I think we're up like three or four Elixir right now, so we can start with our Giant Push. I have my Graveyard as well. I've got Arrows. I've got my Zap Spell, so I'm feeling pretty good about the rest of this battle. And let's just calm down, see what Warlord's going to end up doing he has his own goblin gang that we're gonna have to take care of i played my zap because i was scared that we wouldn't end up killing the entire goblin gang i have the log as well so we're gonna be able to kill that and now we've got a decent little push going on and how do we want to back up my giant all right i'm gonna go ahead and use my graveyard maybe i should have saved my arrows for the inevitable minion horde that he's gonna drop but he's gonna drop his barbarians instead this is still looking really good for us even though i played a weird graveyard Honestly, it feels like we didn't even get that many skeletons. Finally, some of my graveyard or my skeletons start going behind the tower. Uh, but honestly, the graveyard placement was a little bit off, and that's why I didn't do more damage against that tower. All right, goblins will clean up this princess. Let's go ahead and do that. He'll probably just log these. Or he's just going to let them go, and he's going to play his own goblin gang. Doesn't really affect me. And I'll go ahead and take that damage. Looks like we're actually not going to take any on that side. Musketeer is going to end up doing where Goblin Barrel is going to go down. That's a that's definitely an interesting play right there. Megan Minion will help clean those up instead of the Zap Spell. And let's just keep on grinding through the rest of this battle and see if we can pick up this W. All right, Giant's going to go down in a moment. We still have the arrows for his Minion Horde. So every time he plays this Minion Horde, he's not going to get that good of value. I'm actually going to zap those because my tower can kill it instead of playing my arrows. That's going to save me one elixir. Definitely counts in the long run. Musketeer for this. I've got log for this. This has turned into a bit of a crazy battle, but we're still looking really, really, really good. And this is where we can get aggressive. All right, Giant's going to lock on. He's got his Barbarians doing work over here. I'm actually going to zap the Barbarians just to save myself a little bit of time for my Skeletons to start dominating. I've got the arrows as well to clean up absolutely everything he has over here. His tower's down to only 300 and 94 HP, maybe my Mega Minion. Now, Mega Minion's not gonna be able to do it. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that right there. How is he going to respond? There's only 15 seconds left on the clock. Here goes absolutely everything he has. I'm gonna keep playing defense. It's gonna work pretty effectively. I've got my log to help out. I've got my arrows. And honestly, it's only a matter of time before we should pick up this W. And I'm just gonna play it a little bit safe. He's gonna do a Desperate Goblin Barrel. So we're gonna go ahead and take that out. And now we can go for one last giant push, I believe. Okay, we have to use our Goblin Gang. We've got to use our Goblin Gang. Fireball's going to go down. Fireball's going to go down. Eventually, 
my giant is going to reach the tower and smack it down. That was a close game. That was a that was a close game, but it was a good fun first match using the goblin gang right there. We're going to end up picking the win against Warlord. And uh, maybe we'll play someone who doesn't have a Goblin Gang in the future. When you have Goblin Gang versus Goblin Gang and you just keep playing against each other, which we seem to do for most of that match, turns out to be pretty crazy. Are we playing someone from the exact same clan? Didn't we just play someone inside of the Warface clan? I'm not exactly sure. Let's continue onwards. And our starting hand is miserable. Plus, we have arrows as the next card. This is uh, definitely not what we wanted. So I have to play a giant defensively against these elite barbarians. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen that much before. I'll use a Goblin Gang to back these up. Just maybe we can give our Giant a little bit of HP. He's going to play a Skeleton Army. We can crush that Skeleton Army pretty decently. And meanwhile, the Mega Minion's going to get one hit on the right-hand side. So all in all, not a terrible start to the game. Maybe a couple Skeleton hits. Okay. Okay, Skeletons. I get it. But now we can reset. And maybe we're going to have an opportunity to do something good. All right. Musketeer to kill the Princess. Hopefully only... Uh, it's going to get two hits just barely. You have to have perfect timing in order for it not to get two hits. Mega Minion will go down, Log's gonna go down as well, and it's sort of just reactive playstyle right now until we build up enough of an elixir lead to where we're not gonna have to worry about what he does. Alright, so Mega Minion making its way to the other side of the map. What is he gonna play? Is he gonna play anything? He's just taking this Mega Minion damage, so we're gonna get two hits from the Mega Minion right there. Giant's gonna go down right now, and now we can just chill out and see what he's gonna do. He's gonna play an Executioner. Hmm. We do not have anything good right now in our hand to kill this Executioner. We need our Musketeer. We can't play like our Goblin Gang behind our Giant, so I'm going to play it right there. His Executioner is only level 2, so we can do a good job taking that out. We're going to go even on the other side of the map, so I don't mind that. I'm actually going to play my Mega Minion instead of anything else <clears throat> to help clean up some of the stuff he's got going on over here. Eventually, we should be able to do something. And uh, my Musketeer... Oh, it actually didn't lock on to the Princess, so I'm going to use a Log to kill the Princess. And this means he might hit me with the Elite Barbarians. This is just sort of a cat and mouse game right now. We've had some interesting battles so far. I'm going to keep on the lookout for his Elite Barbarians in a moment. I'm sure they're going to be coming out sometime soon. we got a couple seconds on the clock. Here they are right here. Let's use our Goblin Gang. Let's use our Musketeer. Let's use our Mega Minion that can tank the shots from the Fire Spirits. He's not going to end up getting any damage, which is a really good defense for us. And let's set up a Graveyard Push. We haven't played the Graveyard yet this battle, which has been a little bit key. Giant's going to go down right now. There goes his Princess. I'll make sure to use a Log on that as soon as possible. We'll get 100 Tower Damage in two while making a positive Elixir trade. Other side of the map, I'll use the Goblin Gang to bait out any of his cards that he might play against me. Skeleton Army, I'm guessing. And now we can use the Musketeer, but the only problem is, is this dude has the Tornado. The Tornado's been a little bit of a pain. So I'm going to go ahead and drop my arrows. Arrows will help clean all of this up. Uh, giants. Maybe I should have played that Giant a little bit better. Oh, I guess I didn't even... No, actually, I did need to do that. Now let's play the Graveyard. Another poor Graveyard positioning, but this is going to give me an opportunity to hopefully take this tower down. His Tornado's going to go down, but that really shouldn't be enough as my Skeletons are still beating down his tower, and GG well played. One Graveyard equals one victory, and that's going to be win number two in this video and win number three in this challenge. I need to check these guys. Like, what? Are they part of the same clan? Oh, no. Warlord and Warface. Okay, I'm an idiot. All right, well, that's still pretty good. Win number three inside of this Grand Challenge. Let's do one more battle using this Goblin Gang to see if we can pick some big victories. You can see it's a pretty nice replacement to the Skeleton Army. Uh, using it offensively, I've had counters. I've been getting countered most of the time that I use it. And honestly, if someone doesn't, like, play a card to counter it, it can be extremely deadly. Um, but defensively, I've used it really well. And honestly, that's what matters to me. So let's continue onward. Not sure what I can play against this giant right here. I've got my goblin gang, obviously. He's got a furnace. I don't know about doing anything against that furnace. I think that furnace is sort of going to dominate us. So I'm going to play my goblin gang on the other side of the map. I'll play my log as well. But this is really going to be a tough little play right now. I've got to kill this giant as soon as possible. My goblin gang did 500 damage on that left-hand side, which is pretty good for us. Uh, and the giant's only going to get one hit, which really isn't the end of the world. Mega Minion and Musketeer are going to do work. Musketeer's going to avoid that first axe, plus the Mega Minion's going to live. So all in all, this is actually really good. You know what? I'm going aggressive. Graveyard's going down right now. Let's see if we can make a nice little push. Mini Pekka's going to do its thing. I've got a Goblin Gang running down as well. We're trying to get as much damage as possible, but that log, that log is going to decimate us. A couple of Spear Goblins will stay alive, but we still made a nice little push. You don't always have to use a tank with your graveyard spell. You can use something like a Musketeer. You can use anything else. And honestly, if he played like skeletons against my Musketeer instead of a mini P.E.K.K.A., it would have been so much easier to end up dominating him right there. But let's continue onwards. I've got a giant. Can I shoot this furnace over the water? I don't think I can, but I'm going to try anyways. 
Let's see if we can do it. Oh, we can. He played it way too far up. He's going to play a lightning spell. I don't necessarily agree with that. I'll use my mega minion to clean up these minions. Just to give my giant a little bit of time to uh, start attacking this tower right here. Mega minion's going to get close. He has to play something to stop it or else it's going to do some crazy damage. Even my giant's going to get a hit against the tower. What was this guy thinking letting me get to the tower? 100 and 76 HP left, and honestly, I have to go for an aggressive graveyard push. I have no choice. His log is going to kill me, though. Uh, I got to be honest. That log is going to just kill my push, but I had to go for something right there because I didn't have anything better to play. All right, well, with only a couple of seconds left on the clock, 51 to be exact, we're going to go a little bit offensive. I've got my Mega Minion to help out. I've got a log as well. We're going a little bit crazy right now, to be honest. And it might not be the best decision. So because of that, I'm going to drop my arrows and my goblin gang to hopefully help clean up this executioner. He's still going to give us a bunch of damage, though. I'm focusing on the fact that my spells can kill that right-hand tower to where I don't have to worry about it too much. Let's go for another aggressive push. I'm playing this extremely strange, but hopefully it works out. Log's going to go down. Meanwhile, my musketeer in the graveyard is going to kill that other side. He pretty much has to go for three crowns right now this game is over so let's use our mega minion i'm gonna goblin gang behind him 76 hp left on this tower we can use our arrows and all in all a really strange game but we're gonna pick out you know a fairly uneventful two crown victory right there very nicely done and guys the goblin gang is definitely an effective card you can use inside of all your decks it's a great replacement to the skeleton army especially if you don't want to waste epic sundays requesting the skeleton army and getting it to a high enough level the goblins do more than enough of a job of course i think they got the skeleton army is better against killing hog riders killing giants killing royal giants killing pekkas but it's still a little bit more versatile on offense so try it out and let me know what you guys think i think it's a fun card you guys can let me know your reviews in the comment section below but that is pretty much going to wrap it up for this video i love the goblin gang i hope you guys do too and uh yeah that is going to do it until next time i will see you guys later peace out